Hi friends. Tonight is our last uh, musician specific workout for the evening and we are going to be doing a bassoon workout. You guys have a pretty complex instrument when it comes to ergonomics and so I hope this gives you some help. You can do this with little to no equipment. You can do this before you practice, after you practice, in the middle of practicing, piecemeal it out. Um, try to do it in the order that we have, but feel free to use these stretches as you need to. So, I am sitting like I am going to be sitting playing the bassoon. Granted, I don't play the bassoon, so apologies if I do this wrong. But, a couple things to think about. When you're sitting, you guys are, are, are pretty different here. We're not going this way. So if you do this, it really feels different. So we're going to address that imbalance. And the first thing we need to worry about, we have to worry about your biceps, especially the left side. Think about how much we are holding the weight of the bassoon on this side. So this muscle is going to be pretty tight, but also the front of your shoulder on the left side. So I'm going to show you a way that you can stretch it in rehearsal or while you're sitting down and you don't actually have to have a wall. Now if you have a wall, I'll show you both ways that you can do that and do both of them at the same time. But if you don't have a wall, do this in your chair and it'll help. So what you're going to do is you're going to sit on the front of your chair, grab your hands, or I'm sorry, grab your thighs like this, okay? What you're going to do is I want you, we're going to do left shoulder down between your knees. Once you find an imaginary spot on the floor, okay? Drive your shoulder to that imaginary spot on the floor. So you're going to drive the point of the shoulder towards that spot about midway between your feet. So when you feel a good stretch in your shoulder, then you're going to rotate your torso. So we're going to push down, back up and up, you guys see me much. So you're going to push the shoulder down, and when you feel a good stretch, then I want you to rotate this way. I'm going to back up a little bit so you can see me a little bit better. And this is not about rotating your head, okay? It's about rotating your shoulders. So you're going to here, push down, rotate like this. Here, push down, rotate, and then turn. Okay? Then I want you to drop your chin and twist your head up. You're going to hold that 20 seconds. Let's try it on the right side as well. Hands on just like this on your thighs. Drive that shoulder towards an imaginary, oh, that feels good. Imaginary point on the ground, right? When you find that spot, rotate your shoulder. You're using this arm to push into your leg. You're not just rotating. You are pushing into your leg and then rotating away, dropping your chin and looking up. I'm going to go over that one more time. It's a little complicated. So, left side, hands are this way. Drive that shoulder into the ground. When you find a good stretch, push with your left hand to help your body twist to the right, and then drop your shoulder, I'm sorry, drop your chin to your collarbone, and look up. Breathe and hold. This is not a passive stretch, okay? In fact, it's a little intense, so I want you to go for 20 seconds. You can go 30, great, but 10, 15, 20 seconds max to start. Now, if you are not seated and you are able to use a wall, this is how you utilize that wall. You know what? I'm going to go this way. What you're going to do, you're going to put your arm, and in your case, it's going to be your left arm. We're going to pretend this is my left arm because it's easier to see this way. So what I want you to do is you're going to put this part of your hand against the wall behind you. You're going to twist away. That will get your bicep and the front of your shoulder. Looks like this. Palm up against the wall. I'm sorry. Thumb up against the wall. Put it behind you. And it's not just hanging out. You're going to actively twist your torso away from the wall. Push into the wall slightly with the arm and relax. Just feel that stretch all the way down your bicep and the front of your shoulder, okay? And I want you to hold that. You need this more on the left side of your body than the right. So apologies for doing that a little mixed up. Now, we're going to move on. Another thing we need to do. Um, you guys play like this, right? Again, not like this. So it's very easy to rotate. You guys notice you rotate to the right when you play a little bit more than to the left. We're going to deal with that. So what I want you to do, we're going to go this way actually. What I want you to do is something called an open book. 
But there's a different variation to this. So what I'm gonna have you do, you're gonna grab your ribs and pull. Looks like this. Feel free to do this on both sides, but you probably need this going from, because you play this way, you're usually twisted this way. So you need to go more right to left. So I'm gonna lay on my right side, okay? I want you to grab your ribs with your hand. And then, and do whatever you need to with your hand, to your, your head to make it feel comfortable. Grab your ribs, take a big inhale, <gasps> exhale, pull. <sighs> you know what, keep your feet like this. Bent, like that. Now pull your shoulder to the ground. <sighs> big inhale. <sighs> big inhale. You are trying to get your opposite shoulder to touch the ground without moving your hips, okay? Now, if you can do that without a problem, here's the progression. It's called an open book. You've probably seen this. Put your hands together like this, knees together like this. You're gonna try to bring your opposite shoulder towards the ground. This is not just doing this. Also, if your hips move, you're cheating. Keep your hips pushed forward or at least keep them stacked on top of each other, okay? So, I'm gonna try to bring, exhale, try to bring my left shoulder towards the ground without doing this. If I let my hips go, that's what happens. So, we're gonna go 10 times. Oh, that feels so good. Feel free to do this on both sides. You might be surprised at how it feels. And that one side is easier to do than the other. So to recap, on your left side, grab your ribs, and your legs are here, inhale, pull. Keep in this position, inhale, pull, okay? So that's, I don't actually know the name of that, but the other one is called an open book. So we have two left, okay? Um, we're gonna do something called a plank twist to push up, and to be perfectly honest, I've never done this, so you guys get to see this for the first time. Should be kind of interesting. All right, so again, we are thinking about what you guys do and how you play, right? We tend to twist, but we also need core strength. So if you don't wanna do this backstage, that's fine, but put this in front of your workout before you do any other kind of workout. So what we're gonna do, you're gonna come down into a regular plank. If you're on a mat like this, put your feet off the mat. It might be easier, okay? Don't let your hands touch. We don't need any more internal rotation, okay? We have enough, this is internal. We don't need any more of this. Put your hands just like this, not like this, okay? Just like this. Elbows directly underneath your shoulders. Come out, twist, twist, twist. Oh, I can't do this. <laughs> I told you I had none before. This is not easy with socks. Hold on. So, I'm gonna do it on the mat this time. So, here we go, twist. Three, four, five. Put your feet a little wider. Come up into a push-up position and back down. Repeat. Two, three, four, five. Come up on your left side. And back down. Woo! Y'all, that's hard. <laughs> I'm gonna be the first to admit it. If you can't do that, break them down. Do one or the other. Do the plank to push up and then the opposite way, or do the twist. But when you feel good and strong, do both. You don't have to do a ton of them to be good at it, okay? Totally fine. In our very last, oh, we have two more. Just kidding. We have one uh, tricep press up. So if you don't have any equipment, we've gotta work on our triceps. Why? Uh, because we sit like this to play, right? You don't sit like this. Your triceps extend your arm. They need some love. So this is how we do it. Get down into a push-up position. I think you can see me, right? Okay. Hands directly to your side. You're gonna push and back down. Now, if you have low back problems or this doesn't feel good, go to where it does feel good. This is harder. Whew. Wow, that's a lot harder. So you're gonna push halfsies, okay? Notice I'm not shrugging. Keep those shoulders down. Drive through the palms of your hands. Push up and back down. Up and back down. This is a really great option for people who want to work on their push-ups, but they have chest issues, they have thoracic outlet, they have any kind of other issues that 
precludes them from doing push-ups. And you don't need to be doing push-ups like that. This will allow you to work on your tricep strength without having to worry about doing actual push-ups, okay? We're gonna do 12 of those press-ups. Last thing is a reverse plank. I don't recommend socks on a hardwood floor, but it looks like this. And if, again, if you have any kind of shoulder issues, you might wanna check with your doctor about this, make sure it's okay. If you don't, give it a whirl. All you're gonna do is you're gonna come up with your legs in front of you like this. You're gonna extend your arms, come up and hold. Squeeze your butt, okay, and come down. My guess is this is gonna be really like a huge stretch on those biceps, so it might be a little much to do first. That's okay. You also wanna point your toes, okay? So, up and hold. Squeeze your butt, come up into a plank. <sighs> Breathe in and relax. That's it for our bassoon workout today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope it helped and love to have your feedback later. Have a good day and enjoy the weekend.